All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out uh, the start of something great. Legends in Action Spring 2023, Episode 2. Pete is the goat of content, let's be honest. I think that uh, teams should poach him every offseason. He's just uh, plain and simple the goat. Uh, let's check out how um, Fnatic went through uh, their uh, weekend. They uh, won two games. And um, I'm excited. Let's have a look. Is the volume good? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, Marek Brazza had birthday. I didn't know. <laughs> That's not good. Holy Chris the fire tamer. That's a nice cake, honestly. Oh man, that cake looks delicious. It's my first time having birthday. Holy shit, I'm so hungry that but actually, I don't want the corner piece. Someone has I'll to take it. Corner. I'll take it. No, no, no. no, no, no. Maybe. What's Freeze doing there? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Like a steak. Yeah. Honestly, it's a banger cake. Bro, this, this intro song goes so fucking hard, dude. That little giggle. Bureau, bureau, bureau. Yeah, compared to the weekend, the weekend was. I, mean, I didn't want to say anything then and there. Holy Rakhla sounds so sick. Could have helped. Yeah. But He's drinking tea, actually, drinking uh, green uh, juice. We can cancel one day. We can just do a team activity or whatever I had prepared, and then we can send people home. Because I feel like, you know. Um, but I just always not getting better because, for example, yesterday I did nothing, right? The entire day yeah. I was free yesterday. I mean, it usually takes more days, you know, it's not like you'll get help in two or three days. Yeah, if the doctor is here in a half an hour, then we can... We can I have to say, guys, it's, it's like... The emphasis on health, you know, the emphasis on health and making sure that you're squeaky clean. Like, in a season that is three weeks, in, in a world where subs is emergency only, Bro, getting sick can really fuck you up, man. I I sympathize with that situation, you know? Anyone can get sick, right? And there's going to be bumps along, along the road. Uh, but uh, I I really... The, 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 the shitty thing about getting sick, right? Is that... It's not like everyone gets sick at the same time, too. There's like this snowball... Not snowball, but there's like this... Lingering effect that comes in waves... Like, let's say there's two people sick. And then next week, there's two more people sick. And then it's like, you always... You, 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 as a group, to defeat the virus takes way longer. I don't know if it's a virus or not. But it takes way longer to, uh, to defeat uh, a disease. Uh, you know? That shit is uh, crazy. I don't know if there was something that uh, could be done right in regards to like making sure that uh, you know everyone's healthy or no. I, I don't know what's going on, and I don't. It's not my place to judge either, you know. Just have to assume that they did everything they could to avoid sickness, you know. We got this on camera, but we were backstage. I sat down, and I think Hank asked me if I was feeling all right, and I said, "I feel really out of it." I could sense the whole thing coming kind of right as the first game was about to start that morning the same morning i woke up and i had this tingling feeling in my throat and usually that's a sign of i'm about to get sick it started for the first game right before the first game and then ever since that point it was just unplayable <laughs> sure. Thursday was my first i think it's also one of those things right it's like if you're feeling a bit sick and then your heart rate gets elevated right normally because you go on stage and so forth it's like elevated heart rate. I feel like that uh, unless the, the adrenaline kicks in, the elevated heart rate really, really exemplifies, uh, not exemplifies, I'm trying to amplifies the, the sickness, you know?
It's like usually you're supposed to rest and you're not to not supposed to do things that get you blood pumping, you know? Uh, when you're sick. Just a normal day with some kind of energy where I could function. Good to see all of you guys. Normal. The time between the first game and that Thursday, I had fever, especially in the evenings, really high fever to the point where my vision would get blurry. When well, this is fucked up, dude. Monday against Vitality, I could barely see my screen. I think that was the worst game for me to play because that was holy the last shit. Game. But every evening up until Thursday, but my man was, unbearable. was it the studio? Shit. That's sick in my adult life, so the timing couldn't have been worse, to be honest. Okay, we're not screaming today? It's still in discussion because, yeah. like, doctor is coming here, he will examine Ma uh, Martin and, like, whoever. Yeah, I mean, Yo. seeing blurry because of the fever, maybe that's the, that's a sign to, you know, take a nap. I feel like I'm in the hospital. <laughs> my man, no. put him in a, put him in a <laughs> bubble or some shit. Everyone's just... Sad Everyone's sad, depressed, and perma coughing. How unlucky can it be? The split is three weeks. Out of those weeks, we have, uh, protect the yourself. most important week, pretty much. The people sick. Sadly, one by one, people were falling down and getting sick. So the level of uh, practice a bit, uh, went a bit downhill. And maybe that kind of affected um, confidence in some way going into the weekend. Oscar was pretty sick three or four days before. Then Martin got sick in a way where he was just a passenger, sort of. He was just trying to survive the day. He was not very, like, he was low energy. Adrian sounds like grubby. Yeah, they got that Dutch accent going on. From that, I don't even give myself a free pass for that. So for sure, last week was just a catastrophe. <laughs> if we would actually win the game one, then mainly for the people who are staying I'll here, be very careful about how far you push the sickness well. angle, you know? Then because uh, it would be a big win. Not like oh, we just got They carry a responsibility, a right? Like we don't know how contagious it is, but considering everybody got sick, you know, the, there's a layer of responsibility here that they really, really need to take care of, you know? But I sympathize with the players being sick, you know, very hard to play, very hard to practice. I sympathize with this part of it, you know, but because <laughs> it seems to me like Nightshare and Advian are healthy, for example, you know, but I'm, I'm no doctor. For you to do it in, in for every person, even uh, like the staff. Hey, Hank! Oh, they're doing a flame no, meeting. Reconsider my left boy. Dude, hey, 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 respect the captain, please. <laughs> the captain? <laughs> Ivan made captain. himself the captain? Jeez, yeah. look at reckless. Hey, Positives and negatives to each other. It's mainly about um, just, you know, hearing each other perspectives on, on um, people. What is he what? So Hiva is sick. <laughs> but he's not there. Okay. Or part of the issue. I think whenever I do a mistake, I usually say it. And whenever I grief a game, it's like, I just move on and grief, you know? But maybe it's my view, maybe everyone thinks the same. Then I need to change, you know? Yeah. Sometimes too toxic. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about the positives, but yeah, you can. Not scared to fight? Both out. Always positive. Funny, <laughs> cares a lot about the team, brings a lot of energy, really supportive, finding a lot of good gangs. Um, Why is Marek laughing? <laughs> <laughs> finding a lot of good gangs in your jungle, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whatever people had in their mind and wanted you to hear it, you know? I think we just start with the negatives as well. No, you guys are not afraid. <laughs> but uh, you have to do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's better now, you know? Less confidence in what he's saying on a stage compared to what he's saying in scrims. It's true, I was for sure a bit more scared on stage. I go on stage having lost four games of people going Soraka top and running it down. Uh, so I basically didn't play the game the entire day and then I have to play against like players I respect and then I get a bit in wait, wait, wait. Then I lost four games of people going Soraka top and running it down. On stage. I go on stage having lost four games of people going Soraka top and running it down. Did they scream G2? Did they scream G2? Nah, <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know what they did. 
so I basically didn't play the game the entire day, and then I uh, play probably game. solo queue. Like players I respect, and then I get a bit more scared, you know. He just doesn't respect the D2 um, guys. <laughs> solid players know what's going on the map, plays well around jungle, good IRL, like in person. <laughs> nice guy, supportive, easy to approach. The negatives. <laughs> Sometimes too scared to um, take a lead in a way when he's, you know, when you have uh, advantage, maybe you have item advantage. If you're, for example, gear force up, just, you know, gear forcing in, taking the trade and kind of like a boss out type of a player. So basically the most important thing for me was reminding them that they are a team that can win because we had a winning formula in the scrims against the LEC teams and they were playing real well it was just oh, it's know, good it's good to create circumstances where people can give each other stage, feedback even, you know, you know the split is I like to I like short. to I personally people like to that you actually have to stick to what you know I, I personally like to add the additional layer of actually making it personal you know where it is direct from person to person you know I like that layer of it you know what was working for you and because it gives you again in, in those an opportunity to that, that um, it's, it's working so the focus was mainly on be less topics, vague you know, like how do we build and elaborate confidence in the team in themselves yeah Nigel again, for sure he seems a lot more sympathic in, in the way he, um, um, he, he talks what they can you know how they can play how they want to play how they want to uh, win the game first let's really carry it to the second and the second can bring it to the third mm -hmm. so then if we have some sort of yeah, I like Nightshare too. I like Nightshare too. I'm just sharing my perspective, you know? And my perspective doesn't have to be right. Because uh, keep in mind, Nightshare is working in a very specific dynamic and he has uh, information, right? But I think it's good to to give people opportunities to, to, to talk, you know? I think, I think the human side is uh, very important. Especially with players so, like, that are uh, very disappointed and very down at the group, at the team, and how we played. Yeah. And yeah, that's why probably on the Vitality game I was like, not toxic, but I was like more quiet, more negative. I was just trying to be on my own because I was gonna not bring good vibes to the team, so I stayed quiet, but even staying quiet, I bring negative vibes because I'm used to bring good vibes, right? Yeah. So yeah, I kind of choked the same. So then, in the next one I was feeling better, but I not getting back. Yeah, let me tell you this one thing, okay, Oscar? I don't know if you probably you're not watching this because you are doing things. I think if Oscar grows out his beard, he is going to become the best top laner, one hundred percent. He lets that beard grow, bro. He's gonna be, uh, he's gonna become the unkillable demon king. I say it here, man. Oscar beard arc. Holy shit! Just the biggest possible beard he can, and he'll completely dominate. I made the game quite hard. Honestly, I think the weekend was kind of my bad. Like most of it at least. I mean, you yeah, yeah, that's something that you keep repeating, right? I want you to know that it's... I mean, yeah, you did I, not solo lose the game. I, I did not solo lose. The fact that you feel pressure is completely normal. And it shows that you care a lot. And so, just like when you're in situations where you feel pressured, know that it's a normal thing rather than something out of like something extraordinary that you need to worry about but learn to like accept hey i'm stressed or hey i feel pressured this is because this is a normal thing this is because i care and then yeah just allow people to help you with something that again is just completely natural in your situation um, rather than bottling it up on your own and maybe overthinking about it on your own if you guys have hope i still, still believe that we can like win and beat anyone in the league like I truly believe that from like bottom bottom of my heart. Even if you you know, uh, you can say oh maybe. Uh, we're no, not Andrew, I'm G2 very busy. Really good as G2 or you know like uh, we're not really doing that great as a team. I genuinely believe that you guys can beat anyone. 
now we ended up uh, zero three, and now we have uh, you know we have like our um, backs against the wall. Me and the players, everyone has to show. I could eat salad, then, Joe. If you could make a salad, that would be super nice. It's up to us, you know. Like if we actually want to be good, then we have to work past this and then just win on uh, today and then on the weekend itself. Important things. This team very active level one. We showed that we are always going as five bots, so they will be trying to do something. This is Shaves talking. A green tea would be nice too, Andrew. Thank we you. We should be using bots uh, to spot them. They can do the scion what they were doing in scrims against us. I think they can do it even with maybe something else, but I'm not, not sure. And then this jungle is really you know, vocal with his laners when, when they need him or when there's an opportunity and he will be ganging. Be very good at saying when you need help in advance, so P1 is there and you guys can cover or to be true. Or play or play him. Now you guys have like 30 minutes to prepare, do your routine before the game. I'm we'll just sit here jokes. and um, point. <laughs> I think you have three stuff, they are just as bad, so calm down, you will never be like three, you will never be like three. And you're zero seven in the last seven games. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> I respect that. Nightshare wins. <laughs> Very based. Actually, I've never seen you so happy when I popped the double portion of the... Oh, that's right. He so popped it. What do you think is the most OP ult in the game? That's the rock on the one. That is little, actually. Yeah, little Counter Strike. I think the most OP is. Alistair. Alistair? Alistair? No. Yeah. Actually, I used to play with my name. He's looking at it through Silas ult. We were going. Level six, and he already had QSS. He needs yeah. two QSS. Yeah, you yeah. Get two QSS. yeah, but it's fine. He's, He's Omega Fight. So just come away, it's insane. You wanna pick it today? Dude, I'm never actually. Once it's has to be Mark Fight only. Mark Fight? Mark Fight only. And what do you think is the most OP ultimate in the game? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most OP ult in the game? <laughs> Most OP ult in the game? I feel like it's it's a hard hard question to answer because everything is so situational. Like everything is so situational. It's like well, what what is a ultimate that always has value? Yeah, Silas. Yeah, but Silas ult can be useless too, right? It's like Silas Silas ult if if you have no good ults, it's useless. So <laughs> Honestly, GP ult. Yeah, GP ult is a good one. GP ult. GP ult is a very good one. It's like GP, Tarek, Cassadin. No, not Cassadin. What the fuck did I say? I meant Kartus. Fuck Cassadin. <laughs> I meant to say Kartus. Yeah, Zillion is definitely up there, yeah. Chindamir ult is pretty OP, I'd say. Like, Chindamir ult is pretty broken too, right? Tibbers is pretty OP, I'd say. Um, Daisy is pretty OP. Soraka ult is pretty OP. Seraphine ult is the best ult of the game so far, no matter what. Mm, I think it's arguable. It's definitely a good ult, right? Definitely a very good ult. Renata also arguable, right? It's like that they are partially conditional. Fiddlesticks ult, honestly. Fiddlesticks ult is pretty broken. I, th I think Urgot ult is also pretty OP. But yeah, well, let's not get stuck here, guys. We can talk about this forever. Just talking about cool ults. Oh, Singed ult gives you so much stats. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I am gonna be in the first uh, By the way, if Nexus explodes, we have like six minutes. Yeah. So let's go, let's go. What you guys need, do it now, then we're here. And then we go.
until Dragon gets fanatic, but the inside of the Hex Flash coming out. Hex Flash coming mm. out. The Brock gets over the wall, but will be taken down. Multiple moves up in a No, no, no. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Thank God they didn't show looks level one. Thank God. Oh, that one. Another level one fight, man. I thought we would win that. This guy has fucking fleet. He got out with one HP, flashed. I think we should have just done uh, both the pulls after that. We died both level one, which it, it shouldn't matter, but like top should be free. We actually got his TP, and then like I don't know how by got into the tribals, and we could, we died there. So everything went like shit. In yeah, this one was rough too, yeah. Like snowball, so it's already like really shit start in a way how the game is supposed to be played out at least in my eyes i'm, I'm doing three bots and camps and we are playing to spot by because we have three winning oh he's a healthy to be like hitting perma plates or like staying under tower behind the minions and be getting gold to be two this is how i think you want to play with kate likes i don't know if it's like you can do this in this matchup but at some point you guys were 1.5 or 2k gold ahead by the way in the other game yeah but we are snowball comp. Like we were ahead because Jace was mega strong, but then what, once they kill Jace with their comp, that they can kill. I think they sent reckless home because my man's oh. fucking sick. Is look at him, man. He's fucking hanging on by a thread. This this dude. Because on mages before first item, you are absolutely useless. You are useless before it. You are useless after it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you get to five items, five, oh, five, five items, items, then you are still a six for the ten. Then you get Bio. Then yeah, you get Bio and then also Bio. <laughs> hey, Marek, do you think I should play Maokai? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's okay. I think we should pick Maokai and go on. It's so OP. Pick Maokai now? Yeah. Maokai is actually OP. Yeah. Okay. Anything, I don't care. I said after the nerves, finished, just play full tank Maokai. It's GG. Let me go outside, no? I can yeah. go out in 7 minutes. Huh? I can do so much stuff in 7 minutes. Good to know. Good to know, Marek. I'm proud. <laughs> How is it afterward, before, after having a word, and before just B for what? B for what? Well, I stopped listening <laughs> the first time you started explaining what afterward uh, is. You're still me eating a banana, man. <laughs> okay, we got meeting going. Let's go. What's important to say, right, is like Fucking what we beat. actually need is just that one win where they realize they can win on stage for in the officials and true, that true, will true. change a lot for the team. The moment they win, you know, they get some wins on board and they'll be, oh, I mean, I can fuck around a bit, you know, like, uh, it doesn't <laughs> matter. I'll flip it here, I'll flip it there. I mean, it's, it's whatever, you know, if it happens, happens. If it works, good. Hopefully we'll get the win and we'll see how we, how we get, uh, go from there. That was very true. Very true. Oh! Oh, Yankos is trolling. Level four for Yurubi sends the sand soldiers forward. Slide the glide. There's no divide. He's only level four. Fnatic in a second. Ruby flash. No more mana. Run out of space. Run out of soldiers. But here comes a humanoid flash. Boom. The shock backwards. Ebby's got no flash. And he's taken down four. Yeah, that just seems cool to me. Dragon started. Humanoid. Sends through the wall and it's a beautiful. Yankos never trolls. Yankos trolls there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Humanoid plays so well this game, honestly. Like, the amount of damage he did this game was insane. Guys, 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 guys. I pointed out Yanko's making a mistake. Yanko's by far the best performer on this team. He's one of the best performing junglers in the, in the whole split. Just because I say Yanko's made a mistake, that doesn't, like... If for some reason people react, oh, you can relax, guys, relax. He made a mistake. 
When he doesn't need to posture like that, Jack's pushed all the way. Jax is hovering. He doesn't need to contest this crab. He's level 4 to level 2, by the way. He doesn't need to contest this crab. I don't care about the nameplates. If I if I see a condition in the game that is a mistake, I don't care if it's Peak Canyon. I don't care if it's the Prince of Dubai and he's paying for my house. I'm gonna say that's a mistake. Fanatic after 50 days, after eight losses in a row, will finally stand up. Will finally take an exit. Oh, Holy shit. What a game. You won a game, dude. Okay, so first things first. I'm very happy for you guys that you got this win. Based. I know we played shaking, maybe scared at some times. Uh, but you know, getting this win, it should help you play a bit more um, relaxed. Enjoy it that we have won. I think we can be Koi tomorrow. And we play from studio, by the way. It just feels like with us winning last night's game that there is still hope in this whole thing. Obviously, it's bro, God bless. Pass. Reckless is it's looking healthier, man. Wins on the board. Jesus, yeah, like boy. look what they're cutting in between. Like here, he looks like bro. He looks like he's on one HP right here, dude. Like <laughs> it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's left. And now it's look at the. Somewhere. Of course, it's the lighting is different too. Task, but it's at least La the lighting is very different too, and that helps. Like but my man. So. I think it goes a long way you know. in terms of like the mental state or whatever. For me personally, I should be good to go now. I think last week was, again, really tough to play through with uh, fever. This week I feel good, so should have good performance. I honestly think the streaming has gone a long way for me because last split, I wasn't streaming at all. So I only had those nine games to prove myself and I felt the pressure was really high to prove myself to the fans, to everyone that I'm still good enough. But this split I'm streaming every game day, so I've done like six or seven streams already. I feel like it's such a good way for me to show to the world, to myself as well, that I can fucking do this. Like, I'm really good at the game. In turn, that releases some pressure on, on me during the game days because it's not just like I have this one chance and I'm never gonna be able to show anything again. I'm actually kind of throughout the week showing to people, showing to myself that I'm good enough, so a lot less pressure for the individual games that we're playing. I'm gonna try- That's very good. To play, to play as well as possible. I think yesterday was on the upper end, which have not showcased for a while, so that was nice. I would like to have a few more of those so we can make it to the best of three. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, it's always, before we look at Ivan dancing, it's always, you know, reframing what you need to do in a way that is healthy is so important, right? It's like if, if you're framing it in a way, it's like I have to perform no matter what. If I don't, everyone's going to hate me, blah, blah, blah. The pressure's on. Reframing it in what can I do in order to improve the result is to to keep in mind what I'm doing in my day to day and and actively take decisions that are going to help me. Whatever comes in the result doesn't matter as long as you're actively taking decisions that help you. Right? So it's good to hear that he's been like reframing how he 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 views things. Oh, holy shit! It's the Marek Brazza song. Timmy Trumpet. He got on this guy, bro. Bro, it's one, one game. He wins one game and he's like, everybody's shit. Timmy Trumpet, guys. Yeah, they listen to Timmy Trumpet. How can they lose? I see, 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 I I'll say I missed the entire sequence. I was thinking about Timmy Trumpet. I'm going to be able to show anything again. I'm actually kind of throughout the week showing to people, showing to myself. I'm going to play to three. That was why is he slamming their boy like this <laughs> by the way this koi game he didn't play that good i think <laughs> they're just slamming him <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe they shook his confidence because it's like they won the koi game but my man i was was struggling no way you don't know 
Google it. <laughs> Google Banana Czech Republic. Shut up, guys. I'm not even Golden. It's from Czech Republic. <laughs> 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 Bananas from Czech Republic. Coconuts as well, right? Oh, gosh. Uh, coconuts are from Slovakia. Yes. <laughs> How can we win? Okay, okay. Alpha, a beta in our team. Any last song request? Zero yeah, alpha. I mean, we have four alphas, one beta. <laughs> Ivan, aren't you alpha for two? Who did you call me? Ivan, call me Captain. Please. Captain Daddy. Yes. I'm sorry, Captain <laughs> Daddy. You're alpha for two. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> man, now you're gonna carry, right? Yeah. What, what's better, Captain Daddy or Bob's? Captain Daddy is the best man. Captain Daddy. Yeah, just like, like that. This is handwriting. Perfect. Who has the biggest what? Hard. <laughs> Bro, it's so simple. The biggest heart? Heart is the correct answer here. Pay attention, Mare. Why are you recording me? I'm not gonna do anything <laughs> funny for you. <laughs> Can I get blue, Captain? I'm feeling pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Kind of Actually, we won yesterday, but I want to win another one. Before mm. Cork played this week, I was really confident against, against them because they just looked so shaky, unsure of what to play. This week, they had two really good games where they showcased a really strong identity, something they were really confident in playing. So I'm really hoping tonight that my coaching staff smurfs and puts them off their game because they actually seem super shaky. If they ben Rackham. Play Whatever it is they consider good, it seems very winnable to me. If we can get them off their comp, they won twice on now. It's not a team that you know is far away from us. I would say they're a bit stronger than us, but with the right momentum, we can beat them. Oh, that was my door, guys. One second. All right, let's check out the Koi game. Oh, is that Razorko? It's Razorko. Ivanchuk. Yes. Yes. Very important game. Celebrate all you want, guys. This is this is It is a draft if Look at this smile. Fanatic. It was a rough start, it was a rough winter. But after the winter comes spring, it's spring looking a lot better for Fnatic this time around as they're just going to take their time dissecting Koi, take their time enjoying this win. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see them smile. You made it, you made it go. We can win, it was the sickness. Yeah, yeah. we can win, guys. We <laughs> mega boost. <laughs> You just have to sneeze a little. We're still fucking last? What the fuck is this? No, we're not. Look. We're seven. We're seven. Fucking we're Pete. Last, when seven. Pete gets involved oh. in game things, man. Astralis is fifth, dude. Pete, Pete always completely fucking space out to the results and then asks like the most basic questions. He just turns into the team's grandmother. He's like, oh, what happens if we win? What happens if we lose? It's like, Pete. Don't make my boys talk and think about this right now, dude. Thank you. Marek, you are such a great control match player. Yeah. Apparently you are meowing. Do you want to meow? I can meow, yeah. Okay. But do meow after, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Meow, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really... Wait. Meow? Meow. Okay, I'll add one to that one as well. <laughs> I mean, it feels honestly great to, <laughs> to win and more to win uh, against a team like Koi, like, like against a top team. Uh, I feel very excited and very happy because like playing in stage, like is something different for me. This was kind of my dream, like I've been chasing this a long time. So yeah, I'm mega happy to be here in general and yeah, I, I think it's a nice opportunity that I got and I'm gonna try to make it worth it. It's the start of something great. If we keep like this, I think we're playing way better than before. I think we, we are starting to click as a team. It's his dream coming um, true, you know. He's 
a guy who's very hard on himself. So if he does a mistake, he takes it very harshly. This I like this a lot, man. I like what I'm seeing, man. I like what I'm seeing. Really cool. Really good, you know? People that he has what it takes because, you know, com being competitive or being an esport player, people don't understand, but it's actually a very hard job. You work 16 hours a day almost, you know, like 14 hours a day. And it's not just you're playing the games, you know, you have to be good in other aspects as well. I think he's really trying to hide that he doesn't have pressure, but he has a lot of pressure. Once he gets that shit out, maybe we win like first two games or like he starts to think I deserve to be here in LEC, then he will start popping off. Because I think he's like very, very talented, but he's like kind of like me like a few years ago, honestly, just like only play by hands doesn't respect much the jungler, doesn't move too much about the map, like care about map movements. He has to a lot to learn because he's very young. But I think he has like really insane potential in my opinion. For me, like already being able to make it, it's it's good, you know, like 50% is, is solid. From now we have 50%, but now we just need to win two games kind of next week and hope that Excel loses, right? Yeah. And then we're in. Yes. And then life's good again. Boom. Yo, that's, that's cool. I, I like this video a lot. Uh, like, I think it's just such a big difference, right? It's like they, they were all very humbled in, 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 in winter. And I think that everyone is looking at it from a different approach. And they've, they have humility towards their problem, right? Uh, I think that's so important to have humility towards your problem. Because sometimes if your expectations are too high the problems seem so insignificant if they are so much below your expectations that your impact can be severely diminished through it. And I think that everyone seems to be very humble towards the issues that they are facing. And I think that allows them to put the energy in the right place. I think it goes a long way to just have someone that is sympathetic and actually can create a relationship with the players that uh, aren't based off of uh, uh, authority, so to speak. So Nightshare seems to have a lot of experience working with players and he just seems so, so sympathetic and human. And I think that's so, so important. It's not sympathetic. I don't think that's the word. I think the word is sympathetic. <laughs> sympathetic, I think, is... <laughs> no, I think I think that's uh, super important. Okay, very nice video. I'm excited for, for the last week. If you guys uh, stick around, I'm going to talk about uh, my predictions and so forth. And then we continue.